Greetings and salutations everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex and we're going to look at high dynamic range or HDR photo with our Mavic Mini 2. So this video will outline the features and benefits and the techniques of using auto exposure bracketing so we can get some really cool, really tasty high dynamic range photography using the Mini 2. And by doing this, we're going to also use the Lightroom to merge everything together. I'm going to show you step by step how to make this work and how to make your photos with your Mini 2 look amazing with high dynamic range photography using auto exposure bracketing. So now that we've opened up Lightroom, we can see three things. So we have our three photos. Now these photos were taken at the exact same time when you do choose the AEB setting. We'll select all three of the photos. We're gonna right click and then we're gonna merge photo and HDR merge. Lightroom will go to work. It's gonna start overlapping each three photos and it's gonna show you this. Pretty cool. Now we can adjust some of the settings. I'm not gonna apply any auto settings because we'll make it look awesome ourselves later. And we won't go into deghosting overlay because this just shows you how and where the photos overlap. And if there are any inconsistencies or some reference points, it will show us here. And the auto align is Lightroom aligning all three photos by itself for you. Lightroom will then go to town and it's gonna then merge these three photos together in the one. We can tell that because we have now four photos, so our three original and this fourth and final photo, and we have HDR in the top right corner. So good, it's done its job. We can double click into here, we'll start looking at the work, analyzing it ourselves, and kind of see if it's actually what we're after. We have a pretty flat neutral image, so the lighting part of the giant sun beaming down on us is a pretty evenly lit and a pretty evenly exposed shot. So cool, we've got a great canvas to work on. And now it's just going through the tools, just making sure that as we have these three photos, we do have a bit more control and a bit more refinements that we can make in post with Lightroom, just so we can kind of really dial in our look. What's quite crucial here in this particular photo, for me, is really kind of retaining some of that detail in the highlights, because the sun's quite blown out. That's information you can't get back with that direct sunlight. But adjusting this highlight slider, we can really bring back some details and really kind of soften like the sea here, which is quite nice. But I kind of want a really contrasty shot. I want to make that sun really glow. And I really want to focus on these areas here where we will essentially have three different kind of colors really. We'll have some really deep rich blues, maybe a dark blue where the sky is, and maybe like a, a teal, more of a turquoise kind of sea, and a beautiful orange sunrise where the horizon line kind of meets in the middle. So I'm gonna dial that look in now as, as we go. And that's it, there we have it. We've got three photos merged together and then edited in Lightroom to really make our HDR photos really pop. And this is only really achieved when you have these three photos that are exposed at three different levels. All the photos that I've taken will be on my Instagram, which is at Alex P. Sherman. So if you liked the video and you've learned something, then you can let me know that you did in the comments underneath that like button. You can subscribe as there'll be videos like this every single week. Thanks for watching and happy flying. Bye-bye.